So this will teach you how to uh, upload a document to your Weebly website. Uh, this right now is your Weebly website or a sample of what yours should look like. You should have your name replacing where it says my site. <clears throat> you should also have your home tab, a chapter one tab with a drop down menu with vocabulary and study guide and uh, chapter two which has nothing yet. So uh, we're interested in chapter one, vocabulary. And when I click on vocabulary, it will look identical to our home page. Well, that can be confusing when we're navigating, so we need to change the headline. And let's just make it say vocabulary, since that's what we'll be looking at. Uh, next, your assignment that you'll need to complete uh, involves you going to the class website. And we're going to be using the student resources tab. We've been looking at the study of life, which is from section 1.1 of the book. We read an article on it. I had you highlight the vocabulary, use context clues to define the vocabulary in your own words, and uh, then you were to compare your definition to the textbook definition. Uh, and this worksheet right here is where you can find the study of life worksheet that you'll need to type up in order to actually upload that document now to your uh, website. So by clicking on this Word document, you can open it up and it will have all of the vocabulary that we had discussed in class. Um, biology, biosphere, organism, so on and so forth. Um, notice that this is exactly what I had you do in class. Vocabulary terms, there were eight. Your definition that you got through your context clues and then the textbook definition of those words. So you should have that assignment right now, you just need to type it in right here. And you can do that simply by clicking in these boxes and you can type up your work. So this one is uh, the study of life. Uh, so that's what you're gonna do for the remaining. Um, if the textbook happened to have something different or that you added to it, you can type that in this column. And if the definition you came up with was very, 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 very close to what the textbook gave you, you can just put an N A for not applicable, and uh, I know that you had it right here. Um, once you have this done, you can just go up to File, Save As, and you can download and save this document off of the computer right to your own desktop. Um, so let's see here, I'll just keep it as, as this on my desktop. And now it's saved. If you happen to uh, not have Microsoft Office 2010 and you cannot open this at home, uh, just more or less put your classwork into uh, an online file, or I'm sorry, a, a note file, and you can upload that as well. I'll take that. It does not necessarily need to be in the column format as you see here. That's just a sample to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you guys. Um, once you have that done, we need to go back to our website on Weebly. Now how do we upload that completed work now to our vocabulary page? Scroll down a little bit and uh, we need to use this document option on the left hand side. And as you can see, you can scroll up and down. Uh, you do need to scroll down a little bit to get to the media section where this document can be found. You're going to click on it and drag it over to the right and this will allow you to upload a document. Uh, to do that, we click here and select upload new file. All right, so I'm going to do that and upload new file. And the work that I had done just a moment ago, I'd saved to my desktop. And what did I have that named as? 1.1 vocabulary dash Weebly. I'm now uploading it and this will display your work right on your website that you're putting up for this class. And as you can see after doing that, it will take a little bit of time to uh, actually upload, but uh, the document that you have uploaded is now on, on uh, Weebly here. Um, once you get to this point, we've just started this. We're going to be adding to this chapter one vocabulary, vocabulary, and you have your first section of vocabulary uploaded. Now to uh, check this to make sure that everything is uh, absolutely 
perfect where you need it to be for me to uh, look at it. We're going to publish. This will allow anybody to view your website by typing in your URL. Uh, this is the URL. Mine happens to be uh, dvhsscience.weebly.com. Yours should be your first and last name or something along those lines. So uh, to test this, make sure it's an active link. I'm going to copy and paste this. And I encourage that you do the same because if I can't access it, I don't know what to tell you. Click the upper right hand corner, the X. If you click continue, it's going to try to actually sell you a .com website without the Weebly. That will run you about $70. This one's free. So click this X right here at this point. Your website's now live. Let's open up a new tab and uh, let's copy and paste the website that I just published. Let's make sure that everything's working. Um, this is my website as it would appear to anyone visiting it. Notice that I don't have a headline here because I never changed it. Um, however, on my vocabulary, when I go to that tab, it now says vocabulary. And the assignment that I need to see from you is right here. And once it is published, I can actually now scroll down and I can see your work. As always, if you have any questions, please shoot me an email or stop by my room before school so that we can get everything sorted out. Um, 